Hi all, my name is Kathy Kosak and I work in the kitchen at Headland Center for the Arts. I'm here to show you another cooking demo and today I will be making our shallot um, sherry vinegar Dijon salad dressing. This is one of our classic salad dressings um, that it's really a go-to for us. Um, but also as I'm making this dressing, I'll walk you all through um, the idea behind um, how to approach a salad dressing if you don't have these exact um, ingredients on hand. So to begin with, we have some really amazing produce over here that's from Star Route Farms. I've been getting a CSA box almost weekly from them and they make some really amazing produce um, up in Bolinas, California. It's so beautiful, you really need to come over here and see it. So for our salad, for our salad today, what I will be using is this gorgeous frisee that I got in the CSA box and also fennel and some sliced radishes and some pumpkin seeds. And this is kind of a classic Headlands salad combination, the fennel, the radishes, the pumpkin seeds. Um, what you'll need for your salad dressing is um, a container that you could put a lid on tightly, um, uh, about a half um, of a di diced shallot, um, a, some black pepper, sherry vinegar, olive oil, and this is a great time to use the nicest olive oil that you have. Um, I have some Full Belly Farm olive oil, which is delicious, some Dijon mustard, um, salt, and thyme. Um, the building blocks of really any dressing is your acid, which we're using sherry vinegar today, but you could use lemon juice or um, apple cider, um, really any acid that you have on hand, um, and your olive, some sort of oil, olive oil is great, an allium, which means shallot or garlic or onion, or also omit if you don't eat those things. Um, I like black pepper for its flavor for this particular dressing, but it doesn't need to go in all. Um, and a type of herb. Um, I'm using thyme today for this specific dressing, um, but if you had, you know, um, basil or cilantro or um, oregano, really depending on the direction of the salad dressing that you're, you're going for. Um, so let's get started by making our dressing. So you're going to take your container, which has your shallots in it, and add your vinegar. And again, all of these proportions are going to be, and ingredients list are gonna be on our website. Um, so you're gonna add your vinegar. Add the salt. About a pinch. Your Dijon mustard, one little spoonful, twist of black pepper, and your thyme. So really what we're doing right now is we're adding everything to the dressing that's um, in the recipe other than the olive oil. Um, also, at this stage with all of these things that are hanging out, this can sit for, you know, 15 minutes to a few hours and really let that flavor of the shallot infuse into the vinegar, that would be great. But also if you need to make a salad on the fly or you're really hungry or you have guests waiting, um, you can just make this as it is. So now we're going to add our olive oil. And if I was making this at work, I would probably be whisking it or using a hand blender to fully emulsify it or partially emulsify it. But at home, it's fun to use a little jar because you get to shake it. I'm just going to shake up our salad dressing. And now, time to taste it. Mmm, delicious. 
delicious. So now that this is good to go, we're going to pour it over our greens. delicately dress the greens. Um, especially with something like frisee or something that's a little bit of fragile, it's important to be careful. So now that we have our greens all dressed, take our toppings. These beautiful little radishes and of course the pumpkin seeds. We love using pumpkin seeds at the headlands. Another thing that would be delicious on this salad or would go great with this dressing are some sprouts and you can follow Damon's recipe um, from last week uh, to, to learn how to grow your own sprouts at home. So now that this is ready why don't you guys come back over here. So there you have it, a delicious salad with frisé and fennel and radishes um, with our sherry vinaigrette. You can find the entire, um, the entire recipe online at headlands.org and looking forward to cooking with you next time. Thanks for watching.